Good evening and welcome to King's Kids, a nightly bedtime story just for you. I'm Mr. Leeds. I'm head of the children's ministry here at Mainland Baptist Church. And tonight's story is about a missionary, Dr. David Livingston. And I really think you're going to enjoy it. So what sort of David Livingston are we looking at in this episode? Well, to sort of summarize his story for you, by this point in his life, he's been burnt by the African sun, his shoulder somewhat deformed because he had been attacked by this incredible lion in the middle of the wilderness. And from that moment on, he needed to have medicine because of the horrendous pain that attributed to this moment. He is suffering lack of nutrition and is emaciated. He is blinded in one eye, having walked into a tree. And to make matters even worse for suffering, he loses his dear wife, Mary, to disease and has to bury her in African soil. He returns to his hut some miles away and he discovers a horrifying moment his medicine that he needs because of the deformed shoulder from the lion battle has been stolen. On November 10th, 1871, Livingston gets upon his knees and he prays. And this is what's recorded of his prayer in his journal. Lord, you promised that you would be with me until the end of the age. I need that medicine. He now looks up from his prayer and he sees the first white face he has seen for years <laughs> in Central Africa. And he hears those now famous words, Dr. Livingston, I presume? Henry M. Stanley arrives with a whole party of men to greet Livingston. And he tells Livingston two things. Number one, I am the world's most swaggering atheist. Don't try to convert me. I have been sent here by American newspapers to capture your story. Oh, and number two, I have in my bag here some medicine that some woman handed me before I left. Here you go. <laughs> okay, talk about a divine intersection or a holy coincidence, Batman. Here is Livingston on his knees, crying out for the medicine. Here's Stanley having been sent nine months on a mission or more to get to that point. This woman gives him the medication, probably divinely led by the Spirit. He hands it as God's answer. I tell you what, before he called, God sent the answer. Isn't that fantastic? Let me finish the story of Stanley from that moment of first meeting Livingston. Four months later, the world's biggest swaggering atheist dropped to his knees and gave his heart to Jesus Christ on African soil. And isn't that just like God? That Livingston would just witness through his life of how awesome Jesus Christ is and how Stanley saying, you're never going to convert me, Livingston, sees the witness of Christ in his life and he bowed his knee to Jesus Christ. And the world's biggest swaggering atheist becomes a follower of Jesus, a Christian. Now to me, that speaks of the wonder of Livingston's life. What a man of God, what a tremendous witness, even for us today, of the power of divine appointments. Amen. Wasn't that a great story? Uh, I've always loved the story of Dr. Livingston and just how he gave his heart for missions and how he loved um, the people that he was serving and helping with all his heart and even after tragedy after tragedy and uh, being bitten by a lion I mean he just he just kept going on and uh, is a great great example for us as a Christian let's pray 
Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for each one of the kids that were able to take part of the story tonight, Lord. Thank you, Father, for uh, each one of them. Lord, pray that you help us to remember this example of Dr. Livingston and help us to uh, follow you, Lord, and to uh, just be able to be used um, by you, Lord. And it's amazing how that just through Dr. Livingston's example as a Christian, that um, the reporter was also saved, Lord. We just thank you, Father, for that. Thank you, Lord, for uh, the great life and testimony of him. Lord, I pray that you help each and every one of us to uh, do the same, Lord, to go out and to um, talk to others about you, Father, and to share your love. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Remember, 1 Peter 2, 9, you are a king's kid. Have a great night, and we'll see you guys on Sunday.